Hey guys, it's Icy Near, and we are back in Iceopolis, where I've retrieved my stuff, and I'm back up here. Oop. And things are a little less terrible. Um, basically just laddered up. Oddly enough, I after exploring a little bit more, I found that the spot we were at, where we died, was actually one of the spots that Ash and I ended up in when, um, for a little bit we were playing on you know, Iceopolis on a server. So basically, it was very, very close to the base. Basely. <laughs> okay, so this is a little scary because the bloodwood is now burning. Um, but hey, we're okay. The nice thing though is with the bloodwood grown up like this, it is blocking a lot of gas sight, which is making this whole process a lot easier. Uh, we do get the terrifying screams of Bloodwood, but hey, you know, you gotta crack some eggs to make an omelet, as they say, in Bloodwood pruning school. There we go. And we should now be pretty much safe. Excellent. So now it's just a matter of coming up here. Uh, I should actually go ahead and I want this whole thing sealed off in a tube so that um, bloodwood doesn't spawn and uh, or grow into it and block the beacon beam. So that's why we got to do that. But yeah, um, I just kind of wandered around a bit and actually like crested a hill and just saw my base sitting there. It's really not that far. Oh, we already hit bedrock. And that's pretty fantastic. Okay. So down we go. We can make this tube a little bit less terrible. We might go around outside at some point. Oh god, the blood would. We might at some point go around the outside, around the outside, and uh, take down the excess parts of this. We'll decide later. So I guess it really depends on how frisky we're feeling. Um, which means it'll probably happen, because I'm normally feeling pretty frisky. Okay. There we go. Ah. The beacon has bung. There we go. Yeah, we might climb up there and take that whole thing down at some point. It'd be, it would look a lot nicer. Where, what's this? Where did I get sawdust from? I guess I probably had it on me when I died. Okay. So. Down here we go. We're going to go ahead and knock this out. Man, look at how far this growth growth has spread. We obviously have to do something about the tops of all this at some point. But, eh, not today. Not today, says I. I'm just going to get this little part here. I'm a firm believer in just do little bits as you go. Just makes life easier, so you don't have to do it all at once. There we go. Okay, look at that. But yeah, we have to do the whole tops of that, because there's still spawnable area there. There we go. Okay, cool. So, let's eat some eggs. Um, got my raw meat, my uh, mystery meat there. I was plump, so I got a good bit. And now it's... Uh, our compass is very clearly showing where we need to go, which is awesome. And we can head towards where I think a village is. Still not 100% sure. Cool, we got another sapling there. I brought way too many ladders with me. That's fine. Um, Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm pretty good on supplies. I got to build up some fat, but whatever. So, let's go ahead and head on through. And we're going to see what we can do about finding ourselves a village. I really wish I knew more about um, the corruption mechanic from portals. Nether portals to, like, you know, where know where it's going to... Like, how far out I need to put it. If it's blocked by line of sight. There's a lot of theories, and I don't know if any of them are correct. But whatever. Okay, so we have to run through here. Through here, okay. I'm just really excited to try villager uh, trading. 
So, we got our other portal. I think this is the furthest portal I went with. I think. We're going to poke up here a little bit and see. I'm pretty sure, though. Is it? No, that's fire. Yeah, I would have... I would have put that out. I'm pretty sure... Oh, God. Copies decided... Uh, some stuff's going on up there. Let me go ahead and close copy real quick. Because... I know that if I don't, I'm probably going to get like a ton more th files added. Okay, yeah, it's it's time to head back to that portal. That's definitely where we want to be to start the search. Now, I have found a village before, but I think the village I found was a semi-abandoned village. So, I'm not exactly sure how useful that's going to be. I still have a lot of stuff in here. Nothing too crazy useful, but there's some stuff. Because I believe this is going to poke out, if I remember correctly, this will po poke us out um, in the middle of the ocean. And I think it's kind of close to that mine shaft. It's been a long time since we dealt with that, so I could be wrong in that regard. But I think. And I over-torched the hell out of this thing. I feel like... Is it up here, or is it just straight up this tube? Straight up this tube. Okay. Now, hopefully it isn't night. Or I could have some issues. We'll see. Oh god, it's it's night, isn't it? Weep. Oh, this is it. It's not night yet, but it's getting there. So we're going to go ahead and actually build this up a little. And, oh, it is night. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to hide here. And I'll be back come day. See y'all soon. And we're back. It's kind of a little bit later in the morning than I meant for it to be. Because I kind of stopped paying attention. I was watching something. But yeah. This is uh, what we got. So what we're going to do is head do away from spawn. And that way we can easily find our way back to here. Um... I'm trying to remember, I don't remember where anything is here. It's been way too long since I've been out this way. Uh, there's a zombie in the water over here. Okay. And a giant, giant slime. Okay. So, we're going to head this way. Um, I think this might have been where I found the witch hut over this way. Maybe? I'm trying to remember where that, um, oh, what was it called? There we go. Delicious. I'm trying to remember where I found that, oh, there's some nether rack over here. So this is definitely a way I've gone. Let's head that way and see. Mine shaft. That's the word I was trying to say there. I'm trying to remember where I found that mine shaft, but I can't for the life of me. So... I kind of just want to head this way, though. Because that's kind of curving a little. Oh, there is... This is where I found the witch hut, I think. I don't know. Maybe we'll see if... Um, there's a witch over there. Okay. So what we're going to do is just kind of try to peer in the window and see if there's a brewing stand in there. Because I wouldn't mind having another brewing stand. But we'll be very careful about that. Hmm. God, that mountain's super cool looking. I don't want to get close enough to that the witch sees me. Ah, oh, but I can't see in there from here. I see three witches. There's one over there. There's two this way. There's one I just like saw like a tiny bit of purple. Oh, I okay. That is definitely the way I came because there's wood to let me get in there. Okay, so I've already gotten that one. Let's head on. Kill some pigs along the way. And, because, yeah, the only village I found was that one that had wheat in it. I'd love to find another village. Um, maybe one deeper into the spawn radius. Because, right now, I'm 99% I'm sure that was an abandoned one. I seem to recall the windows being busted out. And, yeah, I know I could have gone back and checked the video, but I didn't, so... I'm pretty sure that one was abandoned. Not, or semi-abandoned. I think the windows were busted out. 
which I believe don't don't hold me to this. I believe that means that yeah, it's only going to spawn the peasants because um, I haven't updated the newest version. And well, I didn't find that village when I was updated to the newest version anyway. Because in the newest version, you can find, I think, butchers and maybe blacksmiths occasionally in, in semi-abandons. Don't hold me to that. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah. I don't know. I really want to find a village that isn't abandoned so I can get the cool new villagers and start experimenting with them. Uh, I haven't really played with the villager trading system. Okay, I haven't played with it at all. In this world, I don't believe I've ever traded with a villager. Ooh, free feathers. So, I'm excited to try it out. And I'm not worrying too much about my runningness here. Because, honestly, it's lands I haven't spent much time in. There's going to be plentiful food. And I can always slap down another portal and head home should I run low on food. And I can just come back. I can just tunnel through the nether. I have enough durability on my mattock. There we go. For some reason the word escaped me. To easily make it back. So, we should uh, easily tunnel back. And then, um, we need to collect enough iron to make a rail system, because I'm not going to be walking back and forth. I know I'm going to be having to head to the villagers often. Unless we can get, like, fight two more withers and get two more beacons, so we can get uh, obsidian beacons in both spots. Which isn't a bad idea. It's just a matter of having to collect more wither skulls. I think I have, like, one or two left. Um, so we need, like, I don't know five or uh, four or five more and then fighting two more withers which is always scary but yeah so there's a thing here what's this called a, we a desert well which, the first time I saw these they totally freaked me out because I didn't know they were added and just suddenly here's a desert well and I'm like who's been I think I found my first one in multiplayer so I was like a very small like Multiplayer server? Ooh. There's probably going to be nothing in this worthwhile, but... Okay, so it's a zombie spawner. i got to be careful, because they can definitely spawn over there in that darkness. Ancient manuscript, cocoa powder, bread, and wheat. Well, I can make some more sandwiches, at least. Let's see if there's any more hiding in here. Okay, nope. Time to head on out. Okay. And we're going to head over this way. But yeah, so I, I didn't know what the hell was going on when I first saw them, and it really freaked me out. Because it was an area I thought was unexplored. Like, I didn't think anyone had gone there. It was a reasonably new ser uh, server, and I was like, who, who built this? And no one would fess up to it, and... It was really confusing. Then I eventually found one in a single player world. And I was like, what the crap? And then I found out what they were. So, that's my exciting story. About, uh... What are those called? Um, desert wells. Oh, I should probably be using a battle axe. Because it doesn't use hunger. Yeah, we'll just continue onward. Weird, bit of lag. Did I just hear another portal for a second? It felt like it. I'm like 99% sure I'm wrong, but it, it just sounded, all of a sudden, sounded like I heard another portal. Um, so, I hear lava. I wonder what biome this is. I think this is plains? Or is there just like a hills biome, not an extreme hills biome? Oh, there's a ton of animals though, which is always nice. Because I can always just dig up some cobble and make, uh, cut down a tree and just cook up what I have real quick if I need. And I can make another sandwich. What is this? Well, that is awesome. I kind of want to... You know what, guys? We're going to detour. We're going down here. Because this means iron rails, which means... We won't even melt these rails down. We're just going to use them. So, we are going to detour our way down here. And I think I can just drop right here. 
perfect. Okay. So, let's see what we can find. <coughs> Give me them rails. Girl, I don't really know what I'm talking about here. Um. Oh, yeah. Baby, I love the way you rail all the time. Okay, cool. Um, this spider web is like the most annoying thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Which is, um, only a very slight exaggeration. It's not much of one. Oh my god, rails are the best. Hey, who knows, we might find, uh, a chest cart, which is, which would be pretty cool, because the chests are always welcome, plus, you know, stuff in them. It's kind of the point I don't really mine iron that much anymore, which I like that progression better than, oh my god, that thing scared the hell out of me. Ooh, cool. Um, find a good way down there, that was... Not the smartest way down, but we did it. Ah, redstone, coal, melon seeds. Or is that pumpkin seeds? Um, we don't need that sand. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah, we can probably just ditch those. No need for those. Okay. I'd like to have an empty slot, because I know I'm going to run out of uh, room for rail soon. and take that back because I don't have that many torches. I can always make torches. That's the nice thing about these. You have everything you need to make torches right here. Which is super convenient. Oh, sweet. Rail's just waiting to be had. Uh, yeah, there's nothing back here. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like that aspect of progression. That eventually mining specifically for iron... Uh, is no longer necessary. Though mining itself is always necessary. Because you need things like, I don't know, lapis. What's dying over here? That was incredibly close. And super off the walls dangerous. Like, why I felt the need to go that way. I don't know. I just I think I just lost a rail because of my haphazard actions there. Okay, that was terrifying. So what we're going to go ahead and do is box ourselves in for a moment. Okay, probably should put a torch down. And we'll take a... Ooh, iron. Um, Melon seeds? I actually don't know if I have melon seeds yet. So let's figure this out. I don't need these oysters. We'll take the melon seeds. I don't really need the cocoa powder. But I want the ingot. And I really want the lapis. So that looks good. Oh, and I want that chest, so... Get rid of those. That looks good to me. Okay. <clears throat> That's good, 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 good. There's a lot of shit here I don't need. So actually, let's go ahead and dig a hole real quick. And we'll start dealing with some inventory stuff. There we go. Let's try to clear out a few spots here. For the same reason, you know, the whole, if we run out of um, slots, I don't want to stop picking up the rails accidentally. Um, oh, cool, we're back where we started. Well, that's convenient. Oh, man, this detour, is, this is a scary-ass detour. I gotta say. Uh, we're also kind of running low on torches. Let's go ahead and make a few more. Eight more. Got a lot of meat on me. So whatever. If I if I get hungry enough and I run out of food, I can always eat myself. The gold I do want, because I don't have a good gold farm yet. That was not the safest thing ever. In fact, the, the entire way I approached this gold situation was not very safe. Okay. So. Oh, I have shears on me. Why didn't I just shear that, guys? Hmm. I do need to get another... Um... Wow. That was poorly handled in every way.
Okay. So... Let's make that into more torches. Which frees us up. I'd like... These to be on the hot bar. So I can see. When I'm running low on space. Okay. So. That was terrifying. <coughs> we made some serious mistakes there. We should have waited till we were full health. Oh, God. Okay. There is a reason I'm doing this. Don't worry. This is one of that wood. Okay. So. <coughs> we're actually going to cut it there. Um... Because it's been a while since we've been in a cave dying and not sure whether or not we could get out safe. And we've uh, left a cliffhanger. So thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, have a great day.